What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the all new feature in the iPhone 6s known as 3D Touch. It's interesting, a lot of people will think that 3D Touch was just a gimmick that Apple added to the iPhone 6s so people would buy it, but it's actually not. As a matter of fact, I'm finding myself to use this feature so much that I'm so happy Apple put it in. And just as a demonstration here, you can see some of the things that 3D Touch does for you. In this video though, we're going to get a little more in depth and check it out. So it really begins on the lock screen. As a matter of fact, Apple went ahead and added nine different motion wallpapers and you could pick from one of them in settings and using 3D Touch, you can literally activate them on the lock screen. It's pretty cool. This smoke one right here is one of my favorites. I just wish there was kind of a bigger variety that Apple added. You can see that there's a all new type of way through multitasking just simply by pressing down on the left side of the screen. And if you swipe in from the left side of the screen when pressing it actually takes you in between apps and you can see I could do it a couple times here swipe between my apps and I think that's really why Apple made it that way in iOS 9. One of the most fun features of 3D touch is peak and pop and simply by with a medium press just gently pressing on an email or a message or link will quickly reveal it and if you hold all the way down firmly down it'll bring it out all the way. Here's another great example of peak and pop it works with photos or any form of tappable link that includes times or dates or website links, it works with everything. This feature was in the original first iOS 9 beta, but then was pulled and it's actually a cursor on the 6S and 6S Plus that you can use to navigate through text simply by force touching on the actual keyboard. You can move the cursor around. Uh, this I can see myself using so much just to navigate through text, so much more easier, much more fluid way. I, I really do like this and can't wait to use it more. While you're taking pictures in the camera app, you can actually click the photo reel or just gently press it in and you can actually scan through the most recent photo that you took and simply swipe down to get right back to taking your pictures and that's all without actually having to go into your camera roll it just makes it a little more convenient now probably the most acclaimed part of 3d touch is quick actions which allows you to shortcut applications let's say for Instagram for example to get to the activity or post a picture section of the app or you can even go to something like music search up music go into camera and you can pick quickly to take a selfie or a video uh, you can back out and go to something like clock and you can specifically pick an alarm arm or stopwatch timer it just about works across every apple app that apple offers not every single one though and it works with very few third-party apps at this time but for now it's something cool to play around with and i can't wait to see it integrated into third-party apps in the future speaking of third-party apps i gotta give credit to some developers who already went ahead and enabled their apps for 3d touch such as instagram which as you can see here has really cool peak and pop functions i love all across instagram they really are a very useful you could go between pictures to users to comments I mean literally you can peek and pop with anything by holding down Shazam it actually allows you to launch the Shazam now function and by holding down Twitter you get the new tweet function so this is just prime examples of what we can see but as you can see not a lot of apps have it yet so we're gonna have to wait a while for them to adapt but these major app companies as well as Apple are setting some great examples of what developers can do with 3d touch and they should definitely take action soon well guys, that just about does it for this kind of more in-depth look at Apple's new 3D Touch feature on the iPhone 6S. If you guys like this video, please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. Be sure to also check out the description for an iPhone 6S giveaway that I'm doing and all my other iPhone 6S videos as well. That's it for this one guys, and I'll see you in the next video.